Hi, Aiden. Hi. What book are we reading today? A pocket for corduroy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. A pocket for Corduroy. A pocket for Corduroy. A pocket for Corduroy. Late once in the afternoon, Miss Sam and Mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always on such trips, Miss O'Cloud no longer toy bear Corduroy. The laundromat was a very busy place at this hour. Now, Corduroy, you sit right here and wait for me. She said, I'm going to help her wash. Corduroy waited patiently. Then he suddenly pricked up his ears, Ma. Mrs. Mother will say, Be sure and take everything out of your pockets, Lisa, dear. You don't want your brush sticks to get all wet and soapy, Mom. Your brush sticks are gone. Pocket, said Corduroy to himself. I don't have a pocket. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of, he said, and he began to look around. First came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths, but nothing was the right size or color. Then he saw a huge stack of color clothes in the laundry bag. The laundry bag. There ought to be something to make a pocket out of, he said. Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag, which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The dampness didn't buy the corner in the least. This must be a cave, he said, sighing happily. I've always wanted to live in a dark cool cave. When the time came and listened to Petra Bear, he was gone. Oh, Mommy, she explained. Corduroy's in here where I left him. I'm sorry, honey, she ex I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the lunch bell will be closing soon and we must be getting home. Lisa was reflecting a little Corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he will still be here. As they left, a young man wore ours for rims to get his wet laundry out of a bag. The bare bag Corduroy had discovered. Before he knew it, Corduroy was being toasted with, with all the sheets, shirts, shorts, and slacks inside the dryer. But just as the eyes pushed on the glass door, Corduroy tumbled out to the floor. How did that bear get mixed up all of my things? The artist wondered. The floor Corduroy was damp all over. The least I could do for him is give his overalls a good drying, said the man softly. He um he unbuttoned Corduroy's shoulder straps and put his overalls in the dryer. Corduroy got dizzy as he watched the clothes spinning around, but the artist became spider. This will make a wonderful painting, he said, as soon as he stacked my two out of his pocket and began to the swirl colors. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Finally, the driver stopped running and the man gathered up the clothes. Then he held Corduroy by his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat called, Clothing time! Everybody out! <laughs> Corey was gently placed on top of the washing machine. I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist was leaving. Seems to be should he have his name someplace. He's too fine a fellow to be lost. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corey began to search again. He's surprised to see something white glowing in the dark. Maybe it's snow, he said excitedly. I've always wanted to play in the snow. He ever covered the and little rock and suddenly he was covered with soft, slippery snowflakes. Gradually, Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun, he said with a smile. I've always wanted to ski down a steep mountainside. He landed paws first in an empty laundry basket. This must be a cage, he said, peeking through the bars. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear in a zoo. But by now, Corduroy fell drowsy and soon he nodded off to sleep. And soon he nodded out to sleep. And soon he nodded out to sleep. The next morning, when the manager came to open the door of the laundromat, there was Lisa waiting. I left some here yesterday. Hey, she explained. May I look around? Certainly, said the manager. My customers are always leaving things. Lisa was searching under the chairs and working the washing machine. machines when she heard the manager call her. Is this what you're looking for, Senorita? 
Yes, yes, he's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached, then she picked Cordelia out of the basket. So this where you've been, little ras you little rascal? She said, it's time I took you home. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out the door, holding Cordelia tightly in her arms. I thought you just told you to wait for me, she said. Why did you want her away? I was looking for a puck, Corduroy said. Oh, Corduroy, why did you want in a pocket? Asked Lisa, giving him a fresh head squeeze. That very morning, Lisa sold a pocket on Corduroy's overalls, and here's the card I made for you for your name tucked inside. He said, I've always wanted a purple I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy, as he and Lisa nuzzled noses. The end. Awesome. Oh, the, okay. see that?